Greetings everybody, I'm Gerd Leonhardt, Futurist in Zurich, Switzerland. I'm getting inundated with questions about ChatGPT and generative AI and Midjourney and DALI and all that stuff. And one of the key questions is, people are asking me, is this going to do away with human work and human jobs? And to that I would say, if you work like a robot, a robot will take your job. And I've been saying this for 10 years when it's about technology, but now we're seeing more proof of that with ChatGPT. If my work is robotic, monotonous, not creative, routine, monkey work, donkey work, commodity work, dirty, dull and dangerous, and all of the things that don't require human ingenuity, then yes, these machines will take over and do that same work for us. But think about this for a second. What work that we do, most humans do, in, in terms of content creation, is entirely robotic. You know, the self-driving car makes a great example for this. Because the self-driving car has been promised for a decade, and yes, we have Waymo and we have other trials, but generally speaking, we don't have level five self-driving cars, except for experiments. We have level two or three coming. And, and this kind of shows what's happening here is because driving is very much routine to some people in some situations, but it's not entirely routine. I think it'll be a long time before we can replace a human driver uh, or a human journalist right, based on what AI can do. AI can drive me safely when I fall asleep at the wheel. Yeah, that's, it can take over and take emergency action. And AI can generate great writing when it's about a refrigerator manual, but even there, there are pieces missing, right? AI can probably help me to find new things in my own writing. I use this platform called Pseudowrite, which is very good connecting to OpenAI's ChatGPT. But will it really be like me? Will we have an AI that will be capable of foreseeing the future, make an observation about what's not already here? I think what we're seeing right now is that AI in ChatGPT, as an example, does not generate new knowledge. It just finds old knowledge and brings it out again and puts it together like a, like a giant supreme noisemaker and a sort of, as some people say, a diligent bullshitter. And as I said in my previous piece uh, on the video, it's kind of a stochastic parrot, you know, combining things from all over the place. It can sound amazingly human and real and imaginative and sometimes even funny, but behind it is no consciousness, right? No human agency, no understanding, no context. It's binary and it sounds binary for the most part. The pictures are interesting and they can egg us on to create new things, right? Would they create music? Of course, they're already creating music and that's not really new. Um, and it's been said many times, I think Jan LeCun said the other day that what uh, GPT-3 is offering, chat GPT, is not entirely new. It's just coming out in a public model. Right? It's not new there and, and, and music can be generated with AI, but does it have meaning? I mean, it's functional, right? Elevator music, background music, and sort of robotic music, right? Of course AI can do that. Right? But does it have any meaning? It's kind of like saying, okay, I'm going to generate a, nut a nutrition fluid that I can squeeze out of a tube, and that's my dinner, and it's the same than going to a French restaurant. Well, obviously it's not. Right. It will still nurture me, <laughs> you know, I guess. All astronauts have to deal with that every day, I suppose. But it, is it food? It's not really food, right? And I think if we look at content, content production, I think ChatGPT can create interesting content for commodity purposes like real estate listings or, you know, miserable websites <laughs> that you may be building, you know, instant WordPress things, you know. And I think this is not so much of a worry that it will replace us as creatives. I, I, kind of doubt it, until it develops really kind of a semi-sentience, I think that's quite un, uh, unlikely. The thing I'm mostly worried about is that it generates so much noise so efficiently that A, we can't distinguish between the noise, the truth, uh, on the other hand. We can't distinguish between those two things, truth and fake, because this engine will really do away with that and create amazing stories that are completely untrue. Um, and the other thing is that it will plug social media into like a turbo drive. So I can have, you know, 15,000 bots doing 15,000 messages every 15 seconds, uh, having this bot generate answers and interesting ideas that kind of sound like they could be real. I think what we need here is a flag, right? A big red button that says uh, made by or created by AI. 
so that we know how to judge it. And even that it would already not be too far, I don't think, or far enough. I think we need to have more safeguards to figure out what we can believe or not. If there's one thing we need in media is more humans, more human storytelling, more human collaboration and more truthfulness right, and more purpose. And this could result, ChatGPT and others, in a world that has less purpose because the purpose of the engine is just to give quick answers, which is very useful. But we shouldn't be taking that for the real world. You know, the real world is not binary, it's multinary. And I think Chat GPT reaches like, you know, three to five percent of real world level. I think the biggest problem that we have right now is not that these machines will become sentient, right? Or or knowing or like humans, is that we give them too much authority. Right? Is that we become like them because you know we become lazy and we just kind of let it go as good enough. And that will end up in a world that's based that's becoming kind of synthetic, you know, synthetic writing, synthetic videos, synthetic images, synthetic movies, <laughs> and synthetic humans that we see many times in science fiction. That is probably not a good idea. But otherwise, other than that, if you work like a Roman robot, <laughs> work like a robot, the robot will take your job. If you learn like a robot, you'll never have a job to begin with. I'll see you down the road in the discussion of chat, GPT, and generative AI. Thanks very much for tuning in. Bye.